Hey, can you make the bed? That's not the rules, and you know it. <laughs> Tell us what's happening today. Hey, I'm hey, going hey. to the hair barber, and I'm shaving the sides, and I'm keeping the top. As no, as you're possible. not. Say bye-bye bye bye to the mullet, everybody. <laughs> Maybe. It's going to be a game time decision. Oh, brother. <laughs> you almost pushed her off. <laughs> Okay. Just did a little Instagram story action. If you have asked me where Trucker Hat's from, it's probably from Raw and Rebellious. I know the owner, Sarah, she is so funny. You've gotta follow her on Instagram if you don't, but she is extending her Cyber Monday deal. By the time you guys see this vlog, it probably will be over, but if you have ever wanted like cute Trucker Hats, this is the place to go. Like they are just so creative and Kennedy just did a collab with them and she has his lucky charm, always late, never sorry, like a bunch of cute little stuff. This is also Raw and Rebellious. Rebellious. Coors Cowboy is also from her. Like, she's just so creative and I love her trucker hats. Like, that's probably my favorite thing I get from them. Or her jewelry. I always get like my summer pearly fun layering jewelry from her. So, highly recommend her brand in general. Like, it's just like so creative. Also, she has Rebellious Ski Club, which is so funny. I actually need to get on there and order trucker hat today because I really want the snowboarding one. It's like a little naked lady with a snowboard and it's so cute and I uh, funky I love it also just a little real talk here I freaking hate this season <laughs> like Black Friday Cyber Monday that season of like my job I honestly hate it so much I feel like everyone is just like pushing brands and brands and brands and brands and brands I'm never gonna push brands that I don't actually use okay like that's like that's like the bare minimum okay but I just feel like this year I took on a bit a bit much in the brand deal department and I just I hate that because like I have worked really hard trying not to be like to get to a point where I don't have to do that many brand deals like that is honestly why I like want to keep growing on my channels and want to grow my businesses and stuff because I don't want to have to do brand deals. I want to get to a point where I just like share my life and like for fun because that's how it starts and then that's what you want to get back to. Like I love all the brands that I work with. I just don't want to be like financially obligated to share them. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but I just, this season was a lot and like I feel icky pushing stuff on pushing stuff on pushing stuff and it just... <sighs> I don't know. This job is easy, okay? Let's not bounce around the question. Like, it's not a hard job, but like the mental aspect that comes with it and like the guilt that comes with it because people never think you're doing the right thing. Like, you could do what you think is absolutely the right thing, which I always try and do, but like someone's always gonna have a problem with it. And I don't know, this time of year just, I'm like, I hate doing all these brand deals. Like, I love doing all these brand deals, don't get me wrong, because it pays for our life. It pays for like this lifestyle, but, and I'm not complaining at all. I honestly just like want to make you guys as happy as possible. And I know that's like not always the case. And you guys are very understanding. Like this is a job and I have to do that kind of stuff. But anyways, it's just a lot this time of year. <laughs> and like eh, in our own businesses, like we run Black Friday deals. So like getting that all in order is like, mm, 
a little complicated, but I'm about to go to the gym and work out. I joined a new gym. Well, it's not new. It was the one that I was going to last time. Uh, I just like redid my membership because I love our home gym. However, it just, you get a little stir crazy when you're in the same place by yourself or with the same five people all the time. So I just needed like a new environment with like other people who were working out to motivate me. Does that make sense? Like I didn't realize how much I was actually missing it until I got in there and I was like, wow. I am so motivated in here. Like, so I'm gonna get ready, go to the gym. I'm very excited. I'm hitting upper body. You are the most handsome boy. You're the most handsome boy, huh? You're so snuggled up on the bed on all the clothes. This little uh oh. Ow! Okay, here's the outfit of the day. This is from Lululemon, it's way older though, so I will not be able to link it, but they might have something similar. And these are from Liaison, my friend Steph's brand. I love their leggings and their shorts. Like she just, she put in a lot of time and effort to design these and like tweaks to be made. She definitely made it like wider in the legs and tighter in the waist and they literally fit so well. Like I just, I love these leggings, so. Anyways, outfit of the day. So I'm just sitting here waiting, kind of procrastinating, but I'm just drinking my pre-workout and then I'm going to go into the gym. But I just feel so good right now. I did not realize how much of gym atmosphere was going to like change things for me. I was really struggling in like the workout department, like running. I was like so burnt out on it, but I really kept trying to like push through and just keep running. It just... I think I shouldn't have done that. Honestly, like I should have taken a break and I didn't. And I kind of ruined running for myself. Like I don't even want to run the marathon anymore. And that's crazy because that was such a big goal of mine. And now I don't really know what to do. Like I, I probably will still run it, but I'm not training for it anymore. Like I haven't ran in a while and I just, I just really got burnt out and I just needed a change. And the gym is like really bringing me back to life right now. And like loving my workouts. I'm super excited to go in there and get a workout in. I posted on my story yesterday about this, but I want to encourage you. Like if you feel worn out, unmotivated, just not loving your workouts, switch it up. I literally cannot stress this enough. Like if you can't get yourself to the gym, go take classes, go on a run. If you can't get yourself to go on a run, Go to the gym, go take classes. If you can't make it to your classes, do an at-home workout. Just take a walk outside. Like just do something different and like show your body that it can move in so many different ways. And it's so good for your body as well. Like we weren't made to do the same thing every single day. We were made to do so many different things. And I just, I just can't stress it enough. Like, cause I really lost my spark there for a second. Like I really did. And I was like, I don't even want to work out at all. Anyways, just a little, just a little motivation because like I definitely, definitely go through those phases as well. And I know a lot of you do too. So let's go work out. It was such a good workout. I did a pull day. I barely got any footage because I've gotten in trouble for filming in that gym before. So I don't like to really like bring out my camera. I sometimes like do it on my phone, like secretly. Even though this can't, this little camera is so tiny, I think I might be able to get away with it. But I was just too nervous because the gym was like honestly packed for, it's noon, so it was honestly packed. But I'm gonna go and get a coffee and then Bronson and I are actually leaving uh, a ski trip for my birthday. We're leaving on Thursday and I am so so excited we went ahead and got like season passes this year and i i can't even tell you how, how excited i am we're really trying to get good at snowboarding so i'm excited we're going a lot but i'm gonna go get a coffee from la la land i didn't even finish all my pre-workout so i'm not doubling up on caffeine i drank like half of it and then now i just want like a little coffee so i'm gonna go do that and then god i'm out of breath 
And then I'm gonna go to Sun and Ski Sports and just check out how long their like weight is to wax a snowboard because Bronson needs his waxed. Mine is, I got it last season, so it's it's new. And I only used it once last season, so. Bee boo bop. Oh, also by the way, so random, but I think we're gonna try and sell the Tesla. <laughs> I know we literally just got it but I we both decided that the charging situation is not for us like we have to drive all over because all of our families are just all over and um drive everywhere and I don't really want to drive his truck everywhere because it doesn't get very good gas mileage and we thought like oh the Tesla that'll be great like electric we can just stop and charge blah 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 no 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 we were going to New Braunfels, which is supposed to be like a four hour trip. It took us over six hours because we had to stop three times on the way there and three times on the way back. I love the car other than that, but that is like a big, big flaw. entirely new a Christmas menu and I was like listen Christmas drinks aren't meant to be healthy they're meant to bring you joy and that's what this is doing so I got the creme brulee on our honeymoon Bronson and I realized we're obsessed with creme brulee when I saw creme brulee on the menu a creme brulee latte I was like you're coming home with me. So we're gonna go taste test. It's got little like crumblies on top and like some whipped cream and stuff. It looks so good. I feel like I need to mix it up a bit. Wow. It's caramely, like it's a little bit caramely, but it's also cinnamony. I love cinnamon, not a big caramel girl, but like it's very subtle. It's actually not very sweet, which I was expecting it to be like really, really sweet, but it's actually not that sweet. I'd give it a, Oh, it's sweeter now, but I mixed it up. I'd give it um an eight, seven. I'm giving it a high eight. I think it's really good. Oh, who is that? Wait, I love it. No, I do. You look very different, but you look more like mature. Like, dude, she did good. Wait, I like how long. Oh wait, I love that. The back, I feel like the back. Wait, looks no, weird, I I actually love it. No, it's it looks so cool. Your hood's in the way. Can you move your hood, dude? I I love that. Show the vlog. Yeah, I guess it doesn't look weird. Show the vlog. No, you look style. so handsome. Vlog. The mullet's gone. Oh Oh, sh oh my coffee. Damn. Oh. I love it. Oh, I I love it. The s'mores what? Latte. Hold on. Make sure you mix it up because mine was much better. Guess what mine is. Wait, is this for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's decaf too. Oh, wow. You want to try mine too? Yep. Okay, let's mix it up. Hold on. Let's throw our daughter out. She's in her cage. Her kennel. Wow. That is so good. That's ten times better than mine. Mine's way more subtle, but do you want to taste it? No. You're not going to like it after. I just wanted to get it for you because I thought you'd like it. Yeah, this is better. <laughs> shower 
Oh, I feel so much better, but I put on this little outfit that I got from Old Navy just now. It's so cute. It's like a big oversized jacket. I got a medium in both of these. I definitely could have done a small in the pants, but I honestly like how like baggy they are and I like the wide leg. And then this little tank top is probably one of my favorite tank tops ever. It's so stretchy and it's ribbed. It's from Tala. It's Grace Beverly's brand and I love it. It's so cute. Look at this little outfit. That's so comfy. But I wanted to bring you back into, oh, back into the bathroom because I have to tell you about this moisturizer. I put it in this glass little bottle, which I got these off of Amazon. They're glass and they have like a little bamboo top. This moisturizer is incredible. It is so lightweight and it's like not oily at all. I feel like it's one of those moisturizers that your skin just like drinks up. You guys, oh my gosh. I got it on Amazon. It's from a Korean brand. I'll put like a photo of it. I'll actually, I'll link it in the description, but like it is so good. One of my friends who's like an esthetician, she posted about it and she was like, this stuff saves my skin every winter. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, I need a good moisturizer. So it's just, I mean, it looks like a very standard moisturizer, but like something about it, it's like not oily. It's more like watery, if that makes sense, but not too watery. Cause I'm not a big fan of like really thick moisturizers. I'm a fan of like thin, thin moisturizers that your skin just like drinks up. You know what I'm talking about when your skin is like, yeah, that's the good stuff. Well, this is one of those. So I'll link it in the description, but it is so good. I'm obsessed with it. And I feel like it's been really helping with how dry my skin has been. Okay, every time I go into Old Navy, I always underestimate Old Navy. And then when I go in there, I'm like, get me out of here. I'm gonna spend way too much money. It's so bad. Did I need to do this? No. I'm just gonna say this is my birthday present to myself. Even though I already bought myself new pots and pans. Okay, sue me, whatever. Little outfit I just showed you, it's so cute. So I got this, it literally looks like free people. And I think it was like 30 bucks and we're going skiing. And I was like, this will be fun on the mountain if it's like a warmer day. And I probably won't wear that on the mountain, but just like out to dinner and stuff. This ended up being like seven bucks, but I love it. It's like a Sherpa little phone holder and then it has a little button. And when I don't want to bring a purse out to dinner and stuff, I thought this could be nice because I could just literally have my phone and my like car like cards and stuff and wallet in here and like that's such a cute little add-on it's so small this was a random last minute purchase but they had perfume up there and it kind of gives like a little manlier scent but oh, it smells so good and it was twelve dollars definitely not like healthy by any means you know how there's like healthier fragrances this is not one of those but <laughs> i like it this is probably like one of my favorite things that i got was it's like an oversized well i got a large that's why it's oversized but um it's like this little ribbed cardigan material with like a little half zip. It's so cute if you zip it all the way up or like leaving it open. It's just so like preppy and cute. Love for the car. I just saw it, it was $10 and I was like, you know what, that's that's a need. Whoa, that was fast, jeez. Okay, did I need these? No, I didn't but they were $10 and I'm like, look at these freaking slippers. I was like, I just needed them. The second that I saw them, I just needed them. I haven't even put them on, so I hope that they fit. <gasps> They're so comfy and amazing. Oh my gosh. You're joking. You're joking. Look at those. <laughs> Love, would purchase again, hands down. Anyways, that's the old Navy Hall. Yeah, oh, also I stumbled, I was supposed to go to St. Bernard's. I love St. Bernard's, but they're, they are like really pricey. But I was on the phone with Paige and she was like, go to the outlet. And I was like, I didn't even know they had an outlet. Turns out they're closing. And I'm like, well, great. And I literally got everything like 70% off. Most of it mm, did not have to do with skiing. I'm gonna be honest with you. But I did get a lot of good things. Um, I got, there's this brand called Solid and Stripes. It's, they are bikini brand and they're very expensive. Like I'm talking like over $100 for just the top and just and, and then over $100 for the bottom, like very expensive. And I got those for like 30 bucks each. I got two pairs of bathing suit and then, so here's the first one. It's like a really cute crocheted material. I don't know if you can see cause the sun, it is so cute, love. And then I ended up getting these bottoms too cause they were like less than 20 bucks. And I really like the high waisted cut of them. Like it's really hard to find ones like that. So those were really cute. This was honestly like the steal of the century. Um, it's 
it's this underwire top and then it has like a little thing that goes up and around your neck. It's so cute on. I think I showed you guys in the vlog. And then these little bottoms. Um, these were probably the most expensive bottoms. They're still like 50 bucks, but they're from this brand EverJ. And originally they were $80. Oh, and then they were 20 extra 20% off. And they're just so soft. And I was like, these are good staple black bottom. And then I got these little cuties. You guys saw these on uh, the old, they're from Outdoor Voices. These I love because they're like a Sherpa material and they're like a shorter short. They're from the brand Stateside and they were originally a hundred dollars and I got them for 20. Crazy. Okay, actually I take it back. These were the seal of the century. You've ever heard this brand Teaks? It's like really expensive. They're like genuine leather and I found these little slides. I also found them in freaking black. So I got both, both they're like a size too big, but I was like, whatever, I'll, I'll just make it work. Um, they were originally 135 for one pair, okay? And I got them for less than $30. I can't do the math on that, but yeah. So cute. That's my haul. I did not mean to do that today. Um, I, I did not mean to do this today, okay? But it happens, so. Let's all just look forward into the future and not, not, not dwell on the past. The dogs are in the back house of Bronson. And we always leave this door open so that they can like hang out. Look at this. <gasps> Mr. Bean. I know Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's just the best. Hey, look at me. Using a cutting board. Okay, I like to do, if I had mushrooms, I'd do mushroom too, but I like to do onion, red onion. I don't really like white onion, but I love red onion. And a bell pepper. I'm just gonna use the rest of this. And then to top it, I like to do little baby tomatoes. And then I just use one egg and some egg whites for the egg portion. And then I made this ground beef last night. So I'm gonna add some of this in too. And that's pretty much it. I haven't even been using like hot sauce or anything on top, but maybe I will today to spice it up. Oh, it has a baby. So good. Here's the thing. I need you guys to act like you don't see the massive pile of laundry because I didn't do laundry last week, so it really piled up. Oh, nope, oh, nope, the other way. Uh, it really piled up. And so I did all the laundry, but we had to fold it and like put it away. So there it's all over there. But we're just gonna pretend like that's not there, huh? Also, this is literally why I don't do like what I eat in a days anymore is because I eat the same thing like every single day. I'm not kidding. I don't really branch out. Sometimes I will, but very rarely. I just, I like what I like. Like I make this every morning for breakfast, every single morning. Or the cottage cheese egg, egg muffin thing. So yeah, it would be really boring. You just be like, oh, I've seen all this already. A little stinky under the tree. Is that a little present under the tree? What the best gift ever. This is the best gift ever. Are you gonna be under the tree, Mrs. Stinky? Yeah? Yeah? I literally just did all that laundry. It actually took me like a solid hour, but you can see the count, how beautiful. I now need to run and take Bronson's snowboard to get waxed because if I don't do it tonight, it's not gonna be done by Thursday. So I have to do that right now. It's like 5.30. Oh, I really hope they don't close. Oh, they're open till eight. That's great, okay. We gonna be ready, we gonna be ready. And then I'll come home and I'll cook dinner. I have no idea what I'm cooking tonight, but maybe I'll stop at like Trader Joe's and grab some things. Yes. Yes, Mr. Bean. I gave him a haircut the other day and he's so skinny. He's so skinny. Huh, he's a good boy. Look at this though, mango is like nine or 10 months old, okay? She's literally bigger than Ranger. Like, she's definitely longer than him. She's like a long girl. But she, like when they stand next to each other, I'm like, you're bigger. But she's so cute. She has like a totally different coat than Ranger. Ranger's very fluffy and she's like a silky Aussie. So I don't really know how to like groom her. I, <laughs> I cut her butt. <laughs> 
It looks so bad. It looks so bad. It literally looks botched. Like, sorry, sister. I don't know what to do. Excited. <laughs> okay. Should we go outside? <laughs> that. I went to St. Bernard. Well, hear me out. All of my ski stuff and snow stuff that I got last year was all white for my bachelorette, which in hindsight was probably not. It was, it was an expense. Okay, it was. Let's just say it like it was. But it's not very smart to wear all white while you're on the mountain because you blend in with the snow and it's like not, it's not super safe. So I went ahead and invested in some new snow stuff and I'm freaking so excited. It's from the brand Half Days and their stuff is so cute. However, should I, should I have gotten maybe like a, a black, black pants, black top, maybe a gray, maybe just like some neutrals, maybe even a brown, go crazy. No, no, no. You know what I got? Let me show you. Red. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm a very subpar snowboarder. Like, in fact, I just learned how to snowboard like a year and a half ago, okay? Was it my brightest move? Well, it's bright, that's for sure. But is it like my smartest move? No, probably not, but I love it and I'm so excited. So be on the lookout for that. I am gonna try and post this vlog tomorrow. So when you're watching this, it should be tomorrow. Um, and on Thursday, we're leaving on November 30th, we're leaving to go skiing and that is gonna be the first day of Vlogmas. So I am doing Vlogmas this year. I say that hesitantly because I've never done Vlogmas before. I tried last year and it was just like literally too hard and like too bad on my mental health. This year I'm gonna try and I'm gonna like be chill about it. Like I'm just gonna post it. The vlogs don't have to be perfect. I'm such, I'm so hard on myself with like my editing style Um, that I'm just not gonna be like that this year. I'm just, it's just gonna be like very raw and real and probably not a ton of editing, but that's the only way I'm gonna be able to get them out every single day. But I am excited. Like, it's definitely like a new challenge and I feel like I need that because I really haven't been consistent on YouTube this year. And honestly, on me, like I really do feel bad because like I know my favorite YouTubers, I get upset when they don't post. So if I am that for you, I, I'm really sorry because yeah, I just, I feel like this year has been absolutely insane. <laughs> like just had so much going on and it's been really hard to be consistent on YouTube, but it's really not an excuse, so. Anyways, all that being said, I'm doing Vlogmas and I'm so excited and a little bit scared. Day one of Vlogmas will be us traveling to Colorado and you'll get to see me in my bright red ski suit. So anyways, I love y'all and thank you for always supporting me and being so kind and loving. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video for Vlogmas. <laughs>